Hello, this is uh, Dr. Xiaoming Gong from Beijing Wei Medical Group. Thank you for ISG inviting me for this uh, lecture. I will uh, talk about uh, ablation therapy for adenomyosis. Uh, I previously worked in Peking Uni Medical College. In the recent years, I focused in uh, non-invasive uh, treatment for the adenomyosis and the my, uh, fibroma. Right now, for the uterine disease, we have many options. Traditionally, we have uh, laparotomy and vaginal surgery, laparoscopic surgery, and hysteroscopic surgery. But uh, recently, yes, we also have the we call the super microinvasive treatment for the uh, uterine disease, such as uh, uh, UAE, also radio frequency and micro uh, wave uh, treatment. We also have the non-invasive treatment. Mainly, it's uh, we uh, have the focal high focused ultrasound and the uh, MR guide focused ultrasound. For the high flow and the microwave and the radio frequency, we also call it ablation therapy. Traditional treatment for the adenomyosis is uh, we do the hysterectomy or the focal lesion resection. We can do the uh, open surgery or with uh, laparoscopic surgery, hysteroscopic surgery, or some patient can be done vaginally. For the ablation therapy, the theory is uh, the same. We use the energy to destroy the tissue. When the tissue temperature raised to 70 uh, degrees, will be necroted in one second. So uh, this we use the uh, uh, focused ultrasound, your microwave or radio frequency. We all want to destroy the area of the uh, adenomyosis. Right now, for the basic therapy, we have uh, high flu. The second one we call is uh, MI focused ultrasound, uh, which is a uh, guide high flu by uh, guided by the MI machine. And the third one is uh, microwave. Usually, we do it uh, percutaneously. Uh, this fifth one is uh, radio frequency ablation therapy, and uh, with some patient, we also will do uh, on the laparoscopic surveillance. And uh, finally, we have endometrial ablation therapy. Usually, we done with uh, radio frequency uh, energy. For the HIFU, HIFU is uh, uh, worked as similar to a uh, solo coca. Uh, so the ultrasound is focused on the target tissue, and the, the tissue temperature is raised to seventy degree, and uh, will destroy the tissue. Uh, this uh, is a HIFU GC200 machine. It's, uh, this is specially designed for the uterine disease. In China, uh, HIFU has a history of uh, 15 to 20 years. So we treat the uterine disease, uh, mainly uh, fibroma and uh, adenomyosis. Uh, uh, for the indication, usually we will evaluate the, uh, the sickness of the uterine wall. For the anterior wall, usually we need to the anterior wall should be greater than two centimeter. For the posterior wall, need to be greater uh, than greater than four centimeter. Uh, so the main uh, concern is the safety. So when the uterus have some bowel before the uterus between the wall and the the cirrhosis of the uterus, it will cause uh, uh, the damage to the bowel. So we need to avoid that one, uh, and. Uh, uh, the safety is um, the main uh, concern for the HIV treatment. For some patients have the scar tissue, it can affect the, the ultrasound uh, penetration. So it's uh, one kind of the one uh, country indication. For the complication, uh, the main con uh, concern is about the bowel injury. So the incidence is about the one in uh, 300 to one in 500. Uh, some patient also has some uh, nerve injury because you know the how to the focus ultrasound will penetrate the uh, the lesion area and they go beyond the lesion and it will cause uh, damage to the uh, to the uh, nerve far beyond, uh, behind the uh, uterine uterine uh, uh, wall. Uh, on the right side, you can see also this is a patient uh, has uh, destroyed with the serosa area of the uterine wall. Uh, if the patient wants to have the pregnancy, it also will uh, cause the uterine rupture afterward. Uh, 
This is our study. We should have uh, uh, we have uh, in total we have the 24 cases patients, and after treatment we can see the VFC score is decreased. So in mean the after three months it will decrease in three point seven, in six months four point seven. So from the IMI image we can also we can see the shrink of the uterine size in size, and the patients also have the uh, uh, less bleeding and less pain. Uh, this is a, a patient we uh, because uh, unsuccessful of the treatment. Uh, we remove the uh, do, do the hysterectomy. You can see this is a, this is a necrotic area. Uh, so you can see this is a, uh, is damaged by the high full energy. MI guide focused ultrasound is the second uh, energy we want to introduce. So it's used MI to monitor the treatment. Uh, it also used MI to monitor the uh, temperature during the treatment. So the patient usually will put it into the MI machine and uh, will, the lesion will divide it into many pieces. So from three dimensional uh, area, you can see how it works uh, will put into the many pieces. Now, after treatment, the patient usually can walk out from the treatment uh, MI uh, room. So uh, you can go back to her normal life in three days. And, uh, can, it can be done on uh, outpatient leg. Uh, advantage of the MI guide focused ultrasound is non invasive, it's no scar, fast recovery. Uh, MI also has a function uh, to do the M, uh, temperature monitoring, so it's safer uh, compared to the HIFU, uh, it's, which is uh, use the uh, ultrasound to monitor the, uh, the treatment uh, procedure. Uh, this advantage compared to HIFU is longer, it's low efficiency, and uh, compared to the traditional surgery, it has a higher recurrence and the reoperation rate. In our cases, the reoperation rate is about 15% in two years. So uh, you can see after the treatment, the volume will be decreased, the VS score will be uh, go down as well. Uh, this is the patient after the treatment, we can see the area was destroyed and patient's anemia recovered better. Uh, the next uh, technique is uh, we call the microwave. Microwave is just like the uh, energy we use in our uh, kitchen, or microwave oven. So the um, tissue will be uh, will be heated by the needle. This is our needle. So after treatment, we can see this uh, area was destroyed. It has uh, many uh, uh, carbon area and also have bleaching area and the surrounding area. Usually we done it's by the ultrasound guide uh, so it's a very less uh, uh, trauma to the patient. This needle is a uh, uh, 16 uh, G size in size so it's uh, very minimal. You, uh, cannot cannot see that after treatment. Uh, So this is uh, one case we uh, before and after the treatment. In the left, you can see the patient has uh, diffused uh, adenomyosis. So patient also have a severe pain. So after treatment, we can see this uh, area was destroyed, and the patient has uh, only little, very little pain. VS go one to one, and uh, after treatment, her uh, the amount of the menstruation decrease about. Uh, 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 half of the after the treatment. Uh, the next technique we want to introduce is a laparoscopic assistant microwave uh, ablation. Uh, why we use laparoscopic to monitor the treatment? I think uh, because some patient uh, is, has a very posterior uh, wall disease. The lesion is very close to the posterior wall, and uh, if you do the percutaneously, will we need to aware of the ball. So, uh, if we avoid to the avoid, if we keep the needle one centimeter uh, from the uh, out cellulosa, it will 
were, were re as the, some of the lesion were remained after treatment. So, if we want to ha get a higher NPV rate, a higher treatment uh, volume, so we do the laparoscopic uh, uh, surveillance. So it can has a, a larger ablation rate, and it can avoid the bowel injury during the treatment, and uh, also can we can do some other treatments as well, like the endometrioma removal. But uh, it also has disadvantage compared to the percutaneous uh, treatment. It has a greater tumor and a longer recovery. This is a treatment video. We can see in this area, uh, treatment, the lesion is uh, located in the posterior of the wall of the uterus. So after the patient, this area will be destroyed. Uh, so in this patient, you can see this area is destroyed. Uh, the final uh, energy we want to introduce is the radio frequency ablation. Radio frequency ablation is uh, um, uh, is uh, worked as a uh, current. Uh, so it is just like what we do with uh, laparoscopic surgery. But this energy we can also cause the, the high temperature when we put the prop into the tissue. So the closer to the prop, the higher temperature of the uh, the, uh, the of the tissue. So if uh, it's greater than uh, 70 degrees, uh, it can also destroy the tissue in one second. This is the uh, anten antenna we used in uh, the, this kind of treatment. This is another system we call the BBT system from a Chinese company. Uh, we use this one uh, because we can also use this uh, uh, prop to destroy endometrium. We will talk it later. We usually do transcervically. So, uh, we put this uh, prop into the uterine wall, and with uh, abdominal abdominal ultrasound, we do the monitoring of the treatment. So this is a patient for the uh, ablation radio frequency ablation therapy. Uh, so before the treatment, we can see this the blood supply uh, on the posterior wall. This uh, the lesion over here. During treatment, we with the ultrasound guide, we can put the prop uh, in the different area of the posterior wall to destroy this area. So we digest the prop into the different area of the posterior wall. When we finish the treatment, we repeat the enhanced ultrasound. We can see over here, this area is destroyed. This area is destroyed over here. Different kind of treatment, the ablation therapy. We uh, different one has. Uh, I think that it has uh, advantage and or disadvantage. Right now, we use less and less high for treatment. For the uh, MI guide focused ultrasound because it's too expensive. We only right now keep it for the patient for the fertility requirement, so we can uh, monitor it uh, more clearly. We can uh, put make it safer. For the patient, uh, we don't want to destroy the patient's uh, cirrhosis and the patient's endometrium to avoid the, to the damage to the fertility uh, in the future. Right now, we use uh, more and more uh, microwave treatment because it's, it's uh, faster and uh, the device cost is very little and uh, uh, the treatment is uh, pretty safe. We, we think it is pretty safe and uh, the treatment cost is okay and uh, the only disadvantage for the microwave is because the supply is very expensive. Laparoscopic surgery uh, um, um, uh, assistant the microwave uh, treatment uh, because uh, of uh, its uh, higher ablation rate, so we use it more. Really frequency treatment uh, because it's, uh, uh, it don't has any supply, so it's cheaper. So in conclusion, uh, some ablation therapy uh, provides us a new uh, micro-invasive treatment for the adenomyosis compared to the traditional resection treatment that has less trauma, faster recovery, and less bleeding. Um, but we need to figure out the way to uh, to uh, to decrease the, the recurrence rate after treatment uh, in the future. Right now, ablation therapy is still new for our field. I hope that. Uh, more and more doctors all over the country 
all over the world to join us to uh, to do more research on this uh, kind of new treatment. I have my email over here, and I also have the WeChat. If you have WeChat, you can add me. And I also have the uh, YouTube channel. You can find my name on the YouTube. Thank you for watching. I'm uh, Dr. Xiaoming Gong.